The massive greed we are witnessing is shocking and heartbreaking. The violation of human rights and freedom of speech. We are appalled by the blatant recurring incidents of reported abductions, disappearances, torture, and killings of Kenyans. We also decry the increasing murder of women. This has caused great consternation, anger, and disgust. Many families are still grappling with the loss of their children who are brutally killed, injured, or went missing following what is referred to as the Gen Z demonstrations in June 2024. Many of these victims had raised concerns about rampant corruption within and outside the government. Who is abducting these people? And is the government unable to stop these abductions and killings? The government must protect the life of every human person in Kenya, as stipulated in our Constitution of the Republic of Kenya, Article 26. The government must take the lead in following the law, which the leadership took an oath to uphold and defend at all times. A culture of lies, NHIF, unkept promises, and misplaced priorities. The culture of lies is swiftly replacing the integrity and respect that Kenyans deserve. Basically, it seems that truth does not exist, and if it does, it's only what the government says. Unfortunately, it seems that the Kenyans have helplessly tolerated the lies told to them constantly by politicians. Kenyans must learn not to applaud or validate the lies. or validate the lies that the politicians tell them, but rather must resolve to seek and be led by the truth. When the government fails to fulfill its promises, particularly concerning payments to essential service providers, it harms vulnerable communities. This is the case with NHIF. The neglect of faith-based organizations hospitals, now owed billions in dues, is an issue we have addressed constantly, even with the president. Mm 